Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today's Wednesday, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. Today I am working on a whip that, to be honest, I forgot existed. It was buried in my craft cart and I found it yesterday when I was digging for some safety eyes for a pro another project I was working on. Was that yesterday? Monday. I think it was Monday. Uh, either way, I found it. I was like, oh my god, I completely forgot this existed. And the reason I quit working on it is because I messed up. Uh, I was reading the wrong part of the pattern and using the wrong color and it just got frustrated. I was still pregnant at the time and had a pregnancy brain. <laughs> so I, I was like, you know what? I need to finish this because June is at the age now where she will be playing with stuff like this. And um, so I wanted to pull it out and st start working on it. So I worked on it a lot last night and I'm actually getting really close to having the crochet done. I just, I didn't have to assemble it. But it, we were gifted it um, when we got a bunch of baby stuff, you know, last year <laughs> when I was pregnant you know and um I've been wanting to make it ever since and then I started it and I messed it up and then I just got frustrated and then I forgot about it <laughs> so this is what it is it's a rattle and it's a little fox rattle and uh the pattern's on the back of this and the reason I messed up on it is because the yarn doesn't have colors on it it's just the numbers um and I just assumed I just started the head with orange because I was thinking that it started with orange <laughs> in the back you know but it, it actually you make a white ball and then you put like an orange cap over it and so when I realized I messed it up I just put it down because I was pregnant at the time I was super pregnant I think this was like December um and then I just forgot about it <laughs> but I did pull it out last night and I started working on it so what I had to do is I had the orange almost completely done so I just had to rip back like five or six rows of the orange and then make this triangular part and then last night I did make the nose the ears and this thing that goes over the um the wood part of the rattle and I started the white part so I've almost got all the crochet done the last thing I have to do is the white part of the head and then sewing it all together and the embroidery of the eyes so this is a little kit I think this was from Mary Maxim let me get it all out here it's my little, I keep these little kindergarten scissors in a lot of my projects to snip yarn with I have a bunch of those <laughs> so there's a little wooden part of the rattle so the hook is really small. It is 2.5, which I think is a, I don't know if it's a C. I think it's a C or a D. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> but it's 2.5 millimeter. I'm trying to dig it all out here. It's a lot of little pieces that I gotta sew together. Okay. Okay, so I showed you the wooden part of the rattle. And this is the rattle part of the rattle. <laughs> And so yesterday I did, this is the part that goes around the wood part of the rattle. I will wrap it around it and sew it on there. It should cover half of it. And I did measure it to make sure that it will fit and it does. So put that back in the bag. This is the orange part of the fox head. So it's, this goes, this will go over the white part. And this is the part that goes down in the front of the face to where the nose is. So I got that done yesterday. And then I made the nose with a little bit of black and white. Trying to keep them off from getting lost. And then these are the ears. I can get them untangled. The ears. Made those last night. These were, I was making all this in between June taking her little naps. <laughs> and then I started the white part of the head. So there's the white part. It's really blown out. <laughs> But I think I got to row 9 or 12. I can't remember. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I got to row 9. I stopped at row 8. Because uh, that was when it was bedtime for all of us. So I had to get the kids all ready for bed and myself ready for bed. So that's all I got left to crochet is the white part of the head. Which is just a ball. And then it did come with stuffing. It's really packed in there. But I got extra in case I need it. And then it, I also got... This is my leftover of the black and the ready orangey gold color what am i trying to say rusty like color that's what i'm trying to say so I got a little bit of that and i'll probably have some leftover white as well this is really small yarn um let's see here i don't know if it says what kind of yarn it is it just says that they were the orange and the white were 1.23 ounces and the black was 10 yards it's a crochet hook C2, so it's a C2. So I guess a C is a two millimeter. So C2 is um, 2.5. 
it does have a tapestry needle down in there. I see it in the bag. <laughs> and it doesn't say what the yarn is. I think it does on the website, though. I think I did look it up at one point. And there's also a QR code here that you can scan that will show you a tutorial of how to embroider the eyes. But they look easy enough. I think I can do that myself. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, I just have to remind myself to put the rattle in here while I'm stuffing it. Because <laughs> so, that would suck to get it all done and then have to rip it out a little bit just to put the rattle in there. But uh, June is getting to where now she's getting really good at putting stuff up to her mouth and chewing on it. Uh, so I think she would like this a lot and then she'd be able to play with it for a while You know babies play with rattles and little toys for a while before they get bored and want more things that are more involved But yeah, so you could also at the time you could also get a bunch of different other animals it's got a giraffe a hippo an elephant and a bear So that's pretty cool. I will try to find this I think I found it before and link it down below if you want to check it out um, I'm pretty sure it was Mary Maxon's website that it came from, but I can't remember now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to finally be getting this done. It took me forever and I'm sorry. <laughs> I know the person who bought it for me asked me pretty recently uh, if I ever finished it. And no, I didn't because I forgot it existed after a while. <laughs> so uh, I pulled it out and I'm, I'm gonna finish it. Um, I might try to finish it today. Uh, Cause like I said, all I got left is this to crochet and then I just gotta sew it all together. Which might be a pain, but <laughs> we'll see. But I'm going to put it back on it. I'm just leaving it in this little bag it came in. It's my project bag. <laughs> Until I get it done. And then let me put my little scissors back in there. And then that is what I'm working on. So I'm also sewing today. I just got done doing some quilting and putting zippers on a bunch of Notion pouches. 11 of them. 10 of them will be going in the shop. One of them is a gift for someone. Um, and then I'll be making drawstring bags that match all those. So it's going to be drawstring Notion pouch bag sets <laughs> this coming week sometime um what is today today's wednesday maybe the, over the weekend or maybe monday or something i'm not sure just whenever i get them all done um i'm gonna try to finish those up tonight because all i gotta do is close them now and uh, then i'll work on the drawstring bags but drawstring bags are usually really quick to work on so then and then i'm gonna be working on some tote bags i'm actually waiting for some handles uh the webbing that i ordered it's shipping to my mom's because it went go to a p.o box so it's coming, it's supposed to come today. And then I can start cutting out uh, the next shop update, which will be sometime, maybe next week too, if I can get them out quick enough. Um, yeah, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. I haven't planned that far ahead. <laughs> but that's what I'm working on. And tonight I do plan on making some barbecue chicken uh, in the oven and probably some potatoes on the side, some kind of potatoes or um, macaroni and cheese or something like that. Always goes good with uh, barbecue chicken. Do something like that. And yeah, I guess that's it. So let me know what you guys are working on crochet wise, knitting, crafting, any kind of craft you do, let me know. And also let me know what you're making for dinner because it's always good to give each other ideas. And I guess that's it. I can't think of anything else I need to tell y'all. I do have a video come out tomorrow that's pretty cute. I already got it recorded and scheduled and everything. I recorded it yesterday because I forgot that I already put out a video yesterday. Yesterday was the uh, summer hop and because I already had it scheduled, <laughs> I forgot that it was already out. Um, so I was like, well, I'll just schedule this for Thursday. And then I think I have, I'm going to do a knit crate video on Friday. Cause I got my knit crate yesterday. Yeah. Cause the, the post office was closed Monday. Um, so I'm going to do my knit crate video and I also got a couple of happy mills that I'm going to share also in that video. It's going to be like a knit crate slash happy mill video, <laughs> but, um, I guess I'm going to hop off here and get this edited. Cause I got to run to my mom's in a little bit to pick up that webbing. And I also want to go get a soda. <laughs> I haven't had a soda in a little while and I've been really wanting one. So I'm going to go get me a soda and relax. Devin's off today so we're just going to chill and hang out at home probably. And then later today I'll do some more sewing. And then, um, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Nothing too exciting going on. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.